So let me ask you, how many of you can feel the Holy Spirit? Så må jeg høre, hvor mange af jer kan mærke Helligånden? You know, if you can feel the Holy Spirit, then then uh, it's easy to go with me today where I'm going. Så hvis du kan mærke Helligånden, så er det nemt at gå følge med mig i dag der hvor jeg er på vej hen. Um, I I have had a great concern about uh, uh, the churches that I'm ministering into. Og jeg, jeg har haft uh, stor omsorg eller bekymring for de kirker jeg jeg tjener ind i. There seems there's the the water of moving in the supernatural is growing less and less. Uh, det, det her med at bevæge sig i det overnaturlige bliver mindre og mindre. And I I think there are reasons for that. Det tror jeg der er grunden til årsager til. But I think it's a time that we recapture those things. Men jeg tror jeg tror det betyder vi genindtager de ting. And see see here's the here's the problem. Se problemet det er det her. Everybody knows what they are. Alle kender til hvad det er. Very few people know how to do them. Men der er mange meget få der ved hvordan man gør det. And even 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 spiritual leaders that that can be in the pulpit for for decades. Selv ledere og åndelige ledere som har været på talerstolen i i årtier. Know how to do some things. Kan måske vide hvordan man gør nogle ting. But not everything. Men ikke det hele. And when it, when it comes to moving in the spiritual gifts. Og det kommer til at bevæge sig i de åndelige gaver i åndens gaver. People become a little bit nervous because you have to take a step. Så bliver de fleste lidt nervøse, fordi at man er nødt til at tage et skridt. Which is why I like the worship team. Og det er en af grunden til at jeg godt kan lide lovsangsgruppen. It's a perfect example of faith. Fordi det er et rigtig godt eksempel på tro. Because they're not afraid to sing something different. Fordi de er ikke bange for at synge noget anderledes. And actually I don't think if they care whether you like it or not. <laughs> jeg tror faktisk nærmest det at de er ligeglade med om du kan lide det eller ej. They just know that it's God. De ved bare at det er Gud. Do you know it's God? Ved du det Gud? Do you know it's God? Ved du det Gud? Do you care what they think? Er du ligeglad med hvad du hvad de tænker? Of course you care what you. Uh, <laughs> Spilly, Spilly er du ikke helt ligeglad med hvad de tænker. No. But you know it 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 comes down to a point. Men det kommer ned til et et, et vigtigt punkt. Where you have to believe what God says and you have to do what God says. Du er nødt til at tro på, hvad Gud han siger, og du er nødt til at gøre, som Gud han siger. So it's time to recapture some things. Så det er på tide at genindtage noget. And, and one of those things en af de ting, is moving in the word of knowledge. Det er at bevæge sig i, i uh, kunskabsord. Okay, how many of you would like to see people healed? Hvor mange af jer kunne godt tænke jer at se uh, mennesker blive helbredt? How many of you would like to get something in God and then you pray for someone and they get healed? Og hvor mange af jer kunne godt tænke jer at få noget fra Gud og, og så beder I for nogen og så bliver de helbredt? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Vil det ikke være fantastisk? You're going into Lord. you're going into magazine and God gives you a word of knowledge and someone gets healed. Hallelujah. Du går ind i magasin og du får et, et kunskabsord der er en eller anden der bliver helbredt. Or even better, espresso house. Hallelujah. Eller måske endnu bedre espresso house. Okay, you know, I think I think there needs to be a lot of healings in espresso house. Jeg synes der skal være mange flere helbredelser i espresso house. You know, espresso house is a place where everybody's relaxed. I espresso house der alle alle er slapper af i espresso house. You got your coffee, your sandwich, your croissant. Man har fået sin kaffe, sin sandwich, sin croissant. It's like you're you're, you're sitting in your own living room. Man sidder nærmest i sin egen lille stue. And you know the atmosphere is nice. Atmosfæren er dejlig behagelig. So you know it's it's cozy, it's hygly, hallelujah. <laughs> det er dejligt, det er hyggeligt, hallelujah. And so you know why not pray for somebody's healing, hallelujah. Så so hvorfor ikke bede for nogens helbredelse? See the, the the problem is is that we don't know how to do it. Problemet er bare vi ved ikke hvordan vi skal gøre det. In 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 the charismatic movement that I I was I I grew up in. I den karismatiske bevægelse som jeg voksede op i. It was quite common to see the spiritual gifts. Det var det meget normalt at se åndens gaver. In fact, we expected to see spiritual gifts. Vi forventede faktisk at se dem. If we didn't see spiritual gifts, we thought it was a dead meeting. Vi ikke så åndens gaver bevæge sig, så var vi, det fyldes jo, det var et dødt møde. Does anybody remember those days? Er der nogen, der kan huske de dage? If there, if, if, there wasn't, if there wasn't any spiritual gifts being manifested, then we would go home and we would say it was a bad meeting. Hvis ikke der var nogen af åndskaver, der ligesom manifesterede, manifesterede sig, så ville vi gå hjem, og så sagde vi, det havde været et dårligt møde. You can tell I'm putting pressure on the leadership team, hallelujah. Du kan godt ligesom fornemme, at jeg lægger lidt pres på, på lederne nu. But actually, I'm putting pressure on you. Men jeg lægger faktisk også pres på dig. And because we've settled for, for a type of Christianity, where we watch and we don't do. Fordi vi har ligesom accepteret en slags kristendom, hvor vi ser, men vi gør ikke. But this is not the way that it, it was in the early church. Men sådan var det ikke i den tidlige kirke. All right, so let me ask you this question. Så lad mig spørge sådan her. How many of you want to heal the sick? 
Hvor mange vil gerne hjælpe os syge? How many want to cast out devils? Hvor mange vil øh, uddrive dæmoner? How many How many want to raise the dead? Hvor mange vil gerne oprejse døde? Okay, look at your neighbor. Look in their eyes. Se på din øh, sidemand. Kig på dem i øjnene. Come on, just look in their eyes. Kig dem i øjnene. And say this to them. Og sige sådan her til dem. Do you have a devil? <laughs> How do and devil? Just ask him, do you have a devil? Boss brother, how do and devil? Look at your other neighbor and say, I know you have a devil. I keep it in the man as he I will do have a devil. You would be surprised. It would be all asked. What people go through. Oh, that folk go again. And what the enemy does to them. Oh, but you if I shouldn't go with him. Turn with me to John chapter 1. Slå op i Johannes evangeliet kapitel 1. And we're going to read verses 46 through 48. Og så læser vi fra kapi- eller fra vers 46 til 48. Nathanael spurgte, kan noget godt komme fra Nazaret? Filip sagde til ham, kom og se. Jesus så Nathanael komme hen imod sig og sagde om ham, se, der er sandelig en israelit, som er uden svig. Nathanael spurgte ham, hvor kender du mig fra? Jesus svarede ham, jeg så dig før Philip kaldte på dig, mens du var under fint træd. Now turn to John chapter 4, we're going to read 15 through 18. Så går videre over i kapitel 4, og så læser vi fra vers 15 til 18. Kvinden sagde til ham, herre, giv mig det vand, så jeg ikke skal tørste og gå herud og hente vand. Han sagde til hende, gå hen og kald på din mand og kom herud. Kvinden svarede, jeg har ingen mand. Jesus sagde til hende, du har ret, når du siger, jeg har ingen mand, for du har haft fem mænd, og den du har nu, er ikke din mand. Der sagde du noget sandt. Both of these are examples of word of knowledge. Det her, det er begge to eksempler på kunskabsord. The first one, before Jesus met Nathaniel, he saw him. Det, det første her, det er Jesus før han, eller hvor Jesus møder Nathaniel, men før han har mødt ham, der så han ham. And the second, the second person, og den anden person, with the woman, he knew that he knew that she had gone through these things. Med kvinden ved brønden havde vist han, at hun havde gået igennem de her ting. Both of these things are word of knowledge. Så det er begge to kunskabsord. I want to talk today about how you can move with word of knowledge and healing. Og det er det, vi taler om, hvordan du kan bevæge dig i kunskabsord og helbredelse. Do you want to learn how to be a secret weapon in God? Er der nogen, der gerne vil lære at være et Guds hemmelige våben? Let me ask you again. Do you want to be a secret weapon in God? Vil du være et hemmeligt våben for Gud? Okay, then stay tuned, because we're going to blast off. Godt, så hold fast, fordi nu tager vi, tager vi afsted. And we're going to talk about how you move in the word of knowledge. Vi kommer til at tale om, hvordan du okay. bevæger dig and i kunskabsord. And you might say, but this is very simple. Og måske tænker du, det er da meget simpelt. If it was simple, then why aren't we doing it? Men hvis det var simpelt, hvorfor gør vi det så ikke? And you might say, well, you know, because I'm afraid, and you know, we got boundaries, and there are certain ways to do things in Denmark. Jamen, det er også fordi, vi er lidt bange, eller vi har nogle bestemte rammer, eller der er også en måde, man gør tingene på her i Danmark. And you know what I say about that? Ved du, hvad jeg har at sige til det? Who cares? Who cares? Be- because, <laughs> because people have needs. Fordi... Mennesker har behov. And if God gives you something, og hvis Gud han giver dig noget, it's going to help them a whole lot. Hallelujah. Så kommer det til at hjælpe dem rigtig meget. So what in the world is a word of knowledge? Okay, så hvad er et kunskabsord? A word of knowledge is 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 supernatural information that God gives you. Et kunskabsord er er overnaturlig information som Gud giver dig. It's nothing that you know. Det er ikke noget du ved. It's something that God gives you. Det er noget Gud han giver til dig. It comes through the Holy Spirit. Det kommer fra Helligånden. Now, now a lot of people, a lot of people have a problem where where they 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 say, well, I get impressions. Og der er mange der har det problem, at de siger sådan, jamen, jamen, jeg får sådan noget indtryk. Have you ever had an experience where you knew that you knew that you knew that something was happening and it was? Har du nogensinde oplevet, at du bare vidste, at du vidste, at du vidste, at der var et eller andet, der var på en måde, og så var det sådan? That's an impression. Det er indtryk. Or mothers, did you did you did you know that you know that your child was doing this and they were? <laughs> eller jeg møder, vidste de bare har en eller anden situation, hvor jeg bare vidste jeres barn var ved at gøre et eller andet, og så var det sådan det var. And all the all the mothers can say amen. <laughs> <laughs> alle møderne kan godt sige amen. Okay, okay, that's an impression. Det er et indtryk. That's a natural impression. Et naturligt indtryk. The difference between an impression and a word of knowledge is very simple. Men forskellen på et, et, et indtryk og, og et, et kunskabsord er meget enkel. Sometimes, sometimes impressions can be based out of our fear. Nogle gange så kan indtryk komme ud af vores frygt. But a word of knowledge is something that comes from the Holy Spirit. Men et kunskabsord kommer altid fra Helligånden. 
So let me ask you this question. Så la mig spørge dig sådan her. Have you ever had an experience where you knew that you knew that you knew that something was happening and the Holy Spirit was there? Har du nogensinde haft en oplevelse, hvor du bare vidste, at du vidste, at du vidste, at der var et eller andet, der var i gang, og du følte, at Helligånden var der? Has anyone ever had that? Nogen har oplevet det? Okay, that was a word of knowledge. Det var et kundskabsord. A word of knowledge is an impression that is brought by the Holy Spirit. Så et kundskabsord er et indtryk, men et indtryk, der er bragt til dig af Helligånden. Isn't that so simple? Er det ikke meget simpelt, enkelt? And yet we run through it all the time. Og alligevel så løber vi ligesom igennem det hele tiden. We 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 think we think that it's not important or we think that it's going to require something that we don't want to do. Vi tror enten at det måske ikke er så vigtigt eller også så tror det at det vil kræve noget af os som vi ikke har lyst til at gøre. But 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 Jesus said that he's given you everything. Men Jesus han sagde at han har givet os alt. You got gifts. You have gaver. You got the Holy Spirit. Du får helion. You got authority. Du får autoritet. You got authority to cast out demons. Du får autoritet til at kaste dæmoner ud. There's no demon that can bother you. You have authority over them. Der er ingen dæmoner der kan der kan genere dig for du har autoritet over dem. So why are we afraid of those things? Hvorfor er vi så bange for dem? I mean, can they bother you? Yeah, they can bother you. Kan de ja, ja, det kan de da. But you just tell them, stop it, go away. They have to leave. Du siger bare stop og gå væk, og så er de nødt til at gå væk. Can I get an amen to that? Kan sige amen til det? And 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 so what's this thing about fear? Så so, hvorfor er der den her frygt? So when we're, when we're talking about about moving in 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 the Holy Spirit, you have it already. Så når vi snakker om det her med bevægelser i Helligånden, så har du det allerede. So let's let's talk about the practicals about how we can do this. Så lad os bare tale lidt praktisk omkring hvordan man kan gøre det her. Because there's some simple things that I want to share with you that will help you understand how to move in word of knowledge. For der er nogle simple ting som jeg vil gerne vil hjælpe dig med at forstå om hvordan man bevæger sig i kunskabsord. Okay, so here's why I'm teaching this this morning. Og grunden til at undervise det er den her eftermiddag. I believe that this church is going to be called the church on the move. Og det er fordi, jeg tror, at den her kirke øh, skal bl- kaldes en kirke, der er i bevægelse. I mean, moving in the power of God. Altså say, bevægelse man? i Guds kraft. I think God has some incredible things for you. Are yes. you ready for it? Jeg tror, Gud han har nogle uh, uh, utrolige ting til, uh, til os. Yeah. Uh, er vi klar til det? Do you, I, do you, I, if, if, if God said, I want you to do this, would you have faith for it? Hvis Gud han sagde, jeg vil have dig til at gøre sådan her, vil du så tro for det? So when 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 we're talking about word of knowledge in specific så so når vi taler om uh, specifikt om uh, kunskabsord there's four different ways that you can receive a word of knowledge så so er der fire forskellige måder du kan modtage et kunskabsord so here we go her kommer det the first way is you can feel it den første er at du kan føle det let me ask you this om spørger sådan have you ever looked at someone and you knew that you knew that you knew that they were going through this har du nogensinde bare kigget på en, og så vidste du bare, at de går igennem et eller andet bestemt? And you were right. Og det var rigtigt. Who's ever had that happen before? Hvem har prøvet det? That's a word of knowledge. Det er et kunskabsord. Now, how did that happen? Hvordan skete det? See, that's the question you need to ask. Det, how did this happen? Det spørgsmål er vigtigt at stille. Hvordan skete okay. det egentlig? The word of no- Listen to this. The word of knowledge works through compassion and empathy. Et, et, et kunskabsord virker i igennem medfølelse og empati. It is something birth in the Holy Spirit. Det er noget der er født i Helligånden. But you know that you know that you know that this has happened. Men grunden til at du virkelig virkelig ved at det er det er sket. Because you can feel compassion on the inside. Det er at du kan føle en omsorg indeni. You you can identify with what they've gone through. Du kan identificere dig selv eller mærke det de er gået igennem. I mean there was there, there's a, a, there was a situation not so long ago. Der var en situation ikke så for ikke så længe siden. Well there was there was there, there were some people who brought up a woman to me. Der var nogle mennesker eller nogle folk der kom frem med eller frem med en kvinde til mig. And and they they just said. Og så sagde de. She needs she needs something. Hun har brug for et eller andet. So I just looked at her. Så kiggede på hende. Um, immediately I felt the Holy Spirit. Og jeg følte lige med det samme hele. And I felt on the inside. Og jeg kunne føle indeni that she was battling ovarian cancer. At hun kæmpede med med kraft i æggestokkene. And so I I just looked at her and I said you have ovarian cancer. Og jeg sagde til hende du har kraft i æggestokkene. And she says I do. Og hun sagde det er rigtigt det har jeg. And they haven't given me much hope. Og de har ikke givet mig meget håb. 
And I said, I know the God of hope. Jeg sagde, jeg kender heldigvis håbets Gud. I said, is it okay if we pray for you? Og så spurgte han, om det var okay, vi bad for hende. Now, if God showed what it was, then he's going to give the healing. Og hvis Gud han har vist, hvad det er, så vil han også give helbredelse. Can you say amen to that? Amen to det. If God is faithful, hvis Gud er trofast, in revealing something, i at vise noget, he's faithful in doing something. Så han også trofast i at gøre noget. And, and, I, and I get this thing about, yeah, 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 but you know, I got prayed for and I didn't get healed. So have I. Og jeg forstår godt det her med, ja, jamen, jeg har prøvet at blive bedt for, og jeg, ikke, jeg blev ikke helbredt. Det har jeg også prøvet. But honey, pray for me a hundred times, I don't care. Men baby, be for mig 100 gange. Ja, det er, jeg er ligeglad. All I need is one healing. Ja, har brug for én helbredelse. I mean, one healing. Bare én gang, hvor det virker. Where I'm completely uh, cured of something. Du fuldstændig helbredt for noget. You can pray for me 100 times, I don't care. Så må du gerne bede for mig 100 gange altså. I want my healing, hallelujah. Jeg skal have min uh, helbredelse. Okay, okay. I mean, I mean, how many of you want your healing? Hvor mange har vil gerne have jeres helbredelse? Her? Okay, okay. Look at your neighbor and say, you're going to get it, baby. Kig på din sidemand og sige, du får den. You're going to get it. Du får den. So if God reveals it, he can do it. Hvis Gud viser det, så kan han også gøre noget ved det. Okay, so so when a, a word of knowledge works by identification. Så et kunskabsord virker ved identifik- identificering. You feel what they're going through. Du føler, hvad det er, de går igennem. Okay, you sense it. Du kan mærke det. You're not guessing. Det er ikke noget, du gætter på. You're knowing. Du, du ved det. If you guess something, hvis du gætter på noget, it would be like this. Så ville det være sådan her. Well, you know, I, I, I'm feeling something right now. Mm, um, jeg føler sådan et eller andet lige nu. You, you, you've got a pain right here. Mm, du har sådan en smerte lige her. And so you ask them, do you have a pain right here? Og så spørger du dem, har du smerte lige her? And they go, no. Og så siger de nej. And they say, are you sure you don't have a pain right here? Er du sikker, hvor du ikke har smerte lige her? And they said, no, but I sure am hungry. <laughs> siger de, nej, men jeg går nok meget sulten. Okay, that's not a word of knowledge. Det er ikke kunskabsord. That's guessing. Det er gætteri. But if God gives you something, Gud, han giver dig noget. there's going to be confirmation. Så vil der også være en bekræftelse på det. So if you feel something and the Holy Spirit is there, så hvis du føler noget og Helligånden er der, it's pretty sure that this is an invitation to join him on an adventure. Så det er ret sikkert, at det er en invitation til at gå med ham på et eventyr. Okay, has anyone ever had that before? Har nogen prøvet det før? You felt something. Følte noget. You communicated it, and they said yes. Du du kommunikerede det, og de sagde ja. Can you say amen to that? Nogen kan sige amen til det. That's a word of knowledge. Det er kunskab. The second way. Den anden måde. Is sometimes you can see what's going on. Er nogen gange så kan du se hvad der er der foregår. You get a mental picture. Du får ligesom et et mentalt billede. Like like you might see a body part. Uh, som for eksempel så kan du se for dig en eller anden kropsdel. Maybe a heart, a foot or an eye. Måske et hjerte eller en fod eller et øje. Okay, I've God, God, He's put me in some very interesting situations. Og Gud, Gud, han har sat mig i nogle meget interessante situationer. Okay, I, so, some years ago when I was in Drejavej. For for nogle år siden hvor jeg var så var jeg på Drejavej i København. You know, I, it, it was a great meeting. Det var et godt møde. Praying for people. Vi bad for folk. You know, you do the thing where the Holy Spirit says that one. Og, og man gør det her, hvor Helligånden ligesom peger på en og siger, det And then everybody's der. waiting for a prophetic word. Og alle venter ligesom på et profetisk ord. So the Holy Spirit said that one. Så Helligånden pegede ligesom på en og sagde, ham der eller hende der. And I said, I don't want to do that one. <laughs> så sagde, sagde jeg vil ikke, det er ikke, det er ikke said, den, jeg vil. do that one. Og så sagde han, jo, gør det. So, so I called a man and a woman up. Så, så jeg kaldte en mand og en kvinde op. And I'm looking at them. Og jeg kigger på dem. And I can feel the Holy Spirit. Og jeg kan mærke Helligånden der. And I'm waiting to feel something. Og jeg venter på at føle lidt. I'm waiting to see something. Jeg se noget. But I, I tasted something. Men pludselig så smagte jeg noget. I smelled something and I tasted jeg something. Jeg lugtede noget og smagte noget. Smag noget. And I'm in a meeting. <laughs> in and the meeting's been going on for over two hours. Og mødet har været i gang i to timer på det. And all I have is water. Og det eneste jeg har fået det vand. <laughs> Good Danish dance vand. Hallelujah. Dejlig dansk vand. <laughs> And so I, here I am. I'm tasting something. So I can listen, smell noget. And I look, I look at him. I said, "Kigger jeg på ham?" And I said, "This is really weird." I said, "Det her det er meget underligt." Because right now I'm tasting Colgate toothpaste. For lige nu der stak jeg smag Colgate tandpasta. And he starts laughing out loud. Og så begynder han at grine højt. And he says, 
I'm the representative of Colgate in Denmark. Så siger han, jeg er salgsrepræsentant for Colgate i Danmark. And he said, in fact, I'm over all the Nordic. Ja, faktisk over hele Norden. I'm telling you what. Jeg siger dig. Then we had a Holy Ghost meeting, hallelujah. Så havde vi lige pludselig et heligåndsmøde. You know, I mean, a word of knowledge about toothpaste? Ja, så. Seriøst, et kunskabsord om tandpast. I've never experienced anything like that. Jeg har aldrig prøvet Okay, and so and so I I I was in a meeting uh, several years ago in 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 uh, in the states in California. Så for en del år siden var jeg til et andet møde i i USA i Kalifornien. And so we're in this meeting and I smell something that is like perfume. Og midt i det her møde så lugter jeg bare noget som lugter af parfume. But it wasn't perfume. Men det var ikke parfume. And I couldn't I couldn't figure out what it was. Jeg kunne ikke helt finde ud af hvad det var. I I I kept thinking, is somebody here? I, I, Tænke, er der en eller anden that her, really smells different. Lugter helt vildt anderledes. So you know, you do this thing where you kind of walk through the crowd and you're sniffing. <laughs> så jeg gik sådan ligesom igennem gennem uh, folket og sådan duftede lidt. And I and I and I hear the Holy Spirit laughing at me. Og jeg, jeg hører Helligånden grine over mig. Say no no no, you don't get it. Han siger nej, du forstår det ikke. Just just obey me. Bare bare følg mig, bare gør hvad jeg siger. And so I just I just said to the people. Så sagde jeg bare ud til folk. There were a couple hundred there. Der var måske cirka sådan et par hundrede. I said, okay, I don't know what this is, but there's a smell. Så sagde jeg, jeg ved ikke, hvad det her det er, men der er en eller anden duft. And it's very unusual. Det er meget usædvanligt. It smells like an air freshener in a car. Det, det dufter ligesom sådan en, en luftfrisker i en bil. But not an old one, a new one. Ikke en gammel en, en ny en. And then there was a there was there was a man and a woman that started laughing. Og så var der lige pludselig en mand og en kvinde, der begyndte at grine. And I and they were laughing, laughing, laughing. Og grint og grint og grint. And the Holy Spirit came on them. Og Helligånden kom over dem. I said, "Come up here." Og sagde, "Kom herop." And they're laughing, laughing, laughing. Og de blev ved med at grine. And I'm looking at them. Så kigger jeg på dem. And I said, "Why are you laughing?" Så siger, "Hvorfor griner I?" They said, "We have a factory that makes air freshener for cars." Så vi har en 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 fabrik der laver luftfrisker til biler. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And so if you're obedient, God shows up and does things. Så hvis du er lydig, så dukker Gud op og gør noget. But sometimes when you word of, move in word of knowledge, you can see things. Men nogle gange når du bevæger dig i, i kunskabsord, så kan du se noget. God will give you a mental picture. Gud giver dig et eller andet mentalt billede of someone who has like a like like a, a, a limb that's deformed. En der måske har et lem som er deformt or muscles that have been stretched eller muskler der er blevet strukket or ligaments that need to be healed eller ledbånd der har brug for at blive helbredt i mean it's very easy to say i see a picture of a migraine det er meget nemt at sige jeg ser et billede af en migræne i mean it's a it's 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 a very different picture det er et meget anderledes billede I see someone that has a nodule in your left lung that's seven millimeters. Hvis man siger, jeg ser en der har en 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 sammengroning eller noget i sin ene lunge som er syv millimeter. And you have another one in your bottom right that's four millimeters. Og du har en anden en i den nederste side, højre side, hvor som er fire millimeter. And you're really worried about it. Og du er meget bekymret omkring det. That's a specific word. Det er et meget specifikt ord. But when you get a word like that, men når du får sådan et ord, and someone says that's me, og der er en der siger det er mig. Honey, you better get ready. God's getting ready to move. Så kan du godt gøre dig klar, fordi så er Gud ved at gøre noget. Can you say amen to that? Sige amen til det. Would you be open for the Holy Spirit to start showing things to help people like that? Vil du være åben for Helligånden, at han begynder at vise dig sådan noget på den her måde, for at du kan hjælpe dem? All right, say, you can do this, honey. Kig på din side, mand, og sige, du kan gøre det her. Uh, come on, men, say it to each other. You can come do nu, this, honey. Kom nu, sig det til hinanden. Oh, I love this. Okay. <laughs> Jeg elsker det. Okay. The third way is that sometimes God will will bring things into your thought process. Den tredje måde er at nogle gange så bringer Gud bare noget ind i din tankeproces. He will speak to you. Han vil tale til dig. And it's not like a prophetic word. Og det er ikke sådan som et profetisk ord. Say this. Se, se sådan her. It's like a revelation. Det er mere som en åbenbaring. That you know that you know that you know that this situation is happening. At du ved bare inderst inden at den her situation den er sådan og sådan. And so I'm, I, 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 met a, I met a wonderful, wonderful woman. Ja, jeg mødte en helt fantastisk vidunderlig kvinde. And, and she and her daughter were at a breakfast. Hende og hendes datter var til en morgenmad. The daughter, the daughter was sitting two tables away from us. Dæren sad to bord væk fra os. You know, I want transparency in everything. Jeg vil, jeg, jeg vil gerne have gennemsigtighed i alt. And so I'm, I, I'm looking at her. Så jeg sidder og kigger på hende. 
And she's looking at me. Og hun kigger på mig. And then the Holy Spirit begins to give me a word of knowledge. Og så begynder Helligånden at give mig et kunskabsord. And he told me who she was having an affair with and how many years it had been going on. Og han fortalte mig hvem hun havde haft en affære med og hvor lang tid det havde gået øh, straks over. Now what do you do with information like that? Hvad gør man med sådan noget information? With that kind of 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 a word of knowledge. Med sådan en slags kunskabsord. Well here's what I did. Jeg gjorde sådan her. I just asked a question. Jeg, jeg stillede hende bare et spørgsmål. I said, so tell me, how is this man? Så jeg sagde bare, hvordan har, og så nævnte han ham her, navn. And, and I mentioned his name. Og jeg nævnte hans navn. And she looked at me. Og så kiggede hun på mig. And she said, how did you know? Hun sagde, hvordan vidste du det? I said, I didn't know until you just opened your mouth. Så jeg, jeg vidste ikke, indtil du lige åbnede din mund. And she said, I'm so afraid, I don't know what to do. Og så sagde hun, jeg er så bange, jeg ved ikke, hvad jeg skal gøre. So then I moved from prophet to pastor. Så og så bevægede jeg mig ligesom fra profet til hyrde til pastor. And we gave her some simple guidelines. Og så gav vi hende nogle enkle retningslinjer. And you know what? Og ved du hvad? She's out of that thing now. Hun er helt ude af det. And she's doing the best to live for God. Can you say that? Hun gør alt hvad hun kan for at leve for Gud. But sometimes God will put things in your mind. Men nogle gange ligger Gud bare noget i dine tanker. That's a word of knowledge. Det er også et kunskab. And we don't need to be afraid of that. Og vi behøver ikke være bange for det. Sometimes God will give you the, the next way. Sometimes will give you he will give you a dream in the middle of the night. Den fjerde måde er at han giver dig en drøm midt om natten. Or a vision during the day. Eller eller et syn i løbet af dagen. If you get a, if you get a vision in the middle of the night and it's about somebody. Hvis du får et syn midt om natten og det handler om en person and you wake up or the owner and the holy spirit is there a helion nada now you see the, the 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 difference between a god dream and a pizza dream is that the holy spirit is there <laughs> see forskellen mellem en god drøm og en pizza drøm det er at helion nada and so i had I, this was many years ago so for my reason i i had a dream that woke me up like at 3:30 in the morning så blev vækket af en drøm klokken halv 4 om natten and it was a it was about a friend og det handlede om en ven a good friend go ven who lived in a city that was uh two hours away from me some some boy in by two time away from me and i got down on my face because it was one of those dreams that terrified me because of what i saw og jeg lagde mig ned på min knæ fordi at den drøm her det 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 skræmte mig det jeg så that he was getting ready to leave his wife as they saw det var at han han gjorde sig klar til at forlade sin kone so the next morning so next morning i called him so i ringede til ham i said i had a dream og så sagde jeg, jeg har haft en drøm. God gave me information. Gud har givet mig information. This is what's happening. Det her, det er det der vil ske. He started crying on the phone. Så begyndte han at græde i telefonen. And he said, that's exactly right. Og så sagde han, det er fuldstændig rigtigt. They just celebrated their 51st wedding anniversary. Hallelujah. De har lige fejret deres 51 års bryllupsdag. Can you say amen to that? Amen. God preserves and he helps us in all of these things. Gud han 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 fastholder os og han hjælper os. Okay, så so let's go back to healing. Okay. Så so lad os gå tilbage til helbredelse nu. With healing you're going to see something. Med he- helbredelse så ser du noget. You're going to feel something. Det kan være du føler noget. You might have an impression. Det kan også være du får et indtryk. Uh, it it could be it could be that you feel a pain in different part of your body. Det kan være du føler smerte i en eller anden del af din krop. The Holy Spirit has showed up and you're you're feeling pain in different parts of your body and you're going what's wrong with me? Helion er der og du mærker smerte i et eller din krop og du tænker hvad er det der er galt med mig? It's not you. Men så det ikke dig. It's them. Det er den person. It's them. Den person. But let me say this. Men lad mig sige det her. A word of knowledge can change someone's history. Et kunskabsord kan forandre nogens øh, historik. It can change someone's history. Det kan forandre nogens okay. historik. Okay, let me tell you a story. Jeg fortæller en historie. This was this was uh, several years ago on the west west side of Chicago. For en del uh, år siden i den vestlige del af Chicago. I was I was speaking in an African American church. Så so t- talte i en afroamerikansk kirke. On Laramie Street in West Chicago. It's it's the hood. <laughs> Paul Laramie Street i uh, i uh, i den vestlige del af Chicago. Det er virkelig the hood. Det er ghettoen. When I came when I drove up my car. Da jeg kom og kørte op i min bil. There were ushers who said give me your give me your keys. Så var der mødeværter som sagde give mig dine nøgler. 
We need to protect your car. Vi nu skal beskytte din bil. Or else when the meeting is over, you're never going to see it again. Eller så ser du den ikke efter mødet igen. I mean, that's the truth. That's what they say. Det er said. helt sandt. Det, det sagde de. So so I mean, the worship is explosive. Så vi er til mødet her og, og lovsangen er bare eksplosiv. I'm the only white boy in the place. Jeg er den eneste hvide mand på stedet. They call me a cracker. Can you believe that? They call me a cracker. <laughs> de kalder mig en kiks. You know? And they 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 kept they kept coming up to me and they said we like you cracker. I'm saying I'm saying what's a cracker? Man kicks for me. Now I know. <laughs> and so so it I I I'm 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 just getting up to speak. So yeah, yeah, I'm just getting up to come up and tell and talk. And there's three gang members that walk in off the street. Og så kommer der tre bandemedlemmer ind ude for gaden. And they're in gang clothes. De har deres bandetøj på. And they're they're as tall or taller than him. De er mindst lige så høje som mig. Okay, now I'm not a tall guy. Jeg er ikke særlig høj. And so here are these people, here are these three guys walking in. Så nu kommer de her tre fyre ind her. And you can see the whole congregation looking at them. Og man kan se hele forsamlingen kigger på dem. And they're walking up to the front. Og de går op foran. And they sit on the front row. Og så sidder de der på så på forreste række. And they're sitting there looking at me like this. Og de sidder sådan her og kigger på mig. And they're smiling. Og smiler. And then I'm looking at the rest of the people. Og så kigger jeg på resten af folket. And this is what they're thinking. Og de tænker sådan her. Oh, what boy, you're gonna die today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hvide, hvide mand, du kommer til at dø i dag. So I'm looking at these boys. Så jeg kigger på de her gutter. And they're like they're like 19 to 22, something og, like that. Og de er that. måske sådan 19, 20, 22. And so I'm looking at them, and then the Holy Spirit speaks to my mind. Og så jeg kigger på dem, og så taler Helligånden lige pludselig i mit hoved. And this is what he said. Han siger sådan her. Pick out the biggest, tallest, ugliest one. <laughs> så jeg vælg den største, højeste, grimmeste af dem. And then I'll tell you what to say. Og så skal jeg sige, hvad han, jeg vil sige til ham. I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm going to preach my word and get out of here. Jeg kommer til at prædike mit mit budskab og så tager jeg afsted. And then the Holy Spirit said, No, 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 no. Så sagde Helion, No, 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 no. You're going to pick out the biggest, tallest, ugliest one. Du vælger den største, højeste, grimmeste. Okay, so so I'm trying to be obedient. Jeg prøver at være lydig. I'm in the hood. Ja, i ghettoen. You got to be real with these people. Men man er nødt til bare at være ærlig med de her mennesker. So I say, I say to this young man. Så jeg siger til den her unge mand. You, dig der. You're the biggest, tallest, ugliest one. Stand up. <laughs> du, dig som er den største, højeste, grimmeste op at stå. So he stands up. Så han rejser sig op. Got his hands in his pockets. Hænderne i lommen. Got chains and gold everywhere. Kæder og guld over det hele. He's smiling real big, real han cool. Han smiler meget stort og meget kølig. And then God gives me a word of knowledge. Og så giver Gud mig et kundskabsord. So while he's smiling, I look at him and I say this. Så mens han står der og smiler, så siger jeg sådan her til ham. What would your mama think of you right now? Hvad vil din mor tænke om dig lige nu? And he started crying like a baby. Og så begyndte han at græde som et baby. He said, why did you have to mention my mama? <laughs> hvorfor, hvorfor skulle du lige nævne min mor? When he said that, da han sagde det, 20 women took their handbags. Så der 20 kvinder der tog deres håndtaske. They ran up to the front. Så løb de op foran. And they started beating on these three boys. Og så begyndte de at slå på de her tre gutter. With their handbags. Med deres håndtasker. And they they're hitting them hard. Slår dem hårdt. And there's there's one of them that's beating on this this boy that I'm ministering to. Og en af dem der står og slår på med deres task på den her den her dreng som and jeg er i gang med at screaming, And she says this. Hun skriger og så siger hun sådan her. I told you God was going to get you. Jeg sagde til dig Gud han nok skulle få dig. And I said wait 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 who are you? <laughs> så sagde han hvem 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 er du? I said I'm the boy's aunt and he has been living with me. <laughs> og hun sagde ja er den her drengs tante og han har levet på hos mig. Og så slår hun ham igen. <laughs> So so I said wait 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 ladies please stop. Så jeg vent 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 stop lige der må. So I looked at these boys and I said. Så kigger på de her gutter og så sagde jeg. These boys these women aren't going to stop boys. De de her damer de kommer ikke til at stoppe. You better give your life to Jesus now or I'm going to turn them loose again. Jeg kan lige så godt give jeres liv til Jesus nu eller så kommer jeg til at slippe dem løs på jer igen. And they all looked at me and they went yes sir. Så kigger de på mig og sagde ja ja selvfølgelig. So I said get on your knees. Ned på knæ sagde jeg. 
And so then the women put their church, their 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 handbags down. Så så de her damer, de lagde deres håndtasker. And then they become aunts and grandmas and they are hugging them and putting hands on them. Og så blev de bedste med og tante og de krammede dem og They are smothering them with love. De overdængede dem med kærlighed. And they're praying for them. Og beder for dem. Those three boys gave their life to God. Hallelujah. De tre, uh, de tre mennesker, de her tre drenge, de gav deres liv til Gud. Can you say amen to that? Kan du sige amen til okay, det? Okay, here's the rest of the story. Her er resten af historien så. The biggest, tallest, ugliest one. Den højeste, største, grimmeste af dem. He got in trouble with the police just a couple of weeks later. Han fik problemer med politiet et par uger senere. He's sitting in jail. Han sidder i, i fængsel. An angel visits him. Og så han, får han et besøg af en engel. And the angel said to him. Og så siger den her engel til ham. What would your mama think of you right now? Hvad vil din mor tænke om dig lige nu? You know what happened to that boy? Five years later, he was pastoring that church on the west side. Fem år senere så var han præst i den her samme kirke. Can you say amen to that? Kan du sige amen? A, 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 a word of knowledge releases people's lives. Et kunskabsord frigør menneskers liv. A healing, a word of knowledge of healing changes someone's destination. Et kunskabsord om helbredelse forandrer nogens øh, retning. We don't need to be afraid. Vi behøver ikke være bange for det. We just have to be ready for the Holy Spirit to move. Vi må bare være klar til at Helligånden bevæger sig. Can, can you say amen to that? Vil du sige amen til det? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Can I tell you one more story? Okay, men jeg, jeg har lige en historie, må jeg fortælle den? Okay, and, and, then, and then we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna start praying for people. Og derefter skal vi nok begynde at bede for folk. Okay, okay. It's an old story, but it's a good story. Det er en gammel historie, men det er en god historie. Okay, it was, it was, it was a few months later, I'm preaching on the south side of Chicago. En få måneder senere, så, så prædiker jeg i, i syddelen af Chicago. I love Chicago. Jeg elsker Chicago. It's an amazing place. Det er fantastisk sted. So after the meeting... Så efter mødet, there's three African African American pastors and I, we go to an Italian restaurant. Så sammen med tre afroamerikanske præster så tog jeg på en restaurant. I'm thinking pasta. En, en italiensk restaurant, så jeg tænker, at jeg skal have pasta. The meeting is over. Mødet er over. It's time to eat. Hallelujah. Nu skal jeg bare æde. Hallelujah. So when I'm si- when I'm sitting there, så jeg sidder der. There's a young man who comes up. Så kommer der en ung mand op til mig. And the Holy Spirit whispers to me. Og så ligesom Helion visker til mig. I can feel the Holy Spirit. Jeg kan mærke Helion. And I'm, I say no no no. I, I'm doing pasta now. Jeg siger nej 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 nej. Jeg er i pasta mode lige nu. And he said no no no. Ask him this question. Og så siger han nej nej. Spørg ham. Stil ham lige det her spørgsmål. And I said oh. Jeg sagde, so I said oh, okay. young young man, have I ever met you before? Så sagde ung mand, har jeg mødt dig før? He said, no, sir, you never have. Så han, nej, det har du ikke. I said, but I know something about you. Så sagde jeg, men jeg ved noget om dig. You have a father who has a very bad heart condition, and you're worried about him. Du har en far, som har en slem hjertelidelse, og du er bekymret for ham. And he starts crying, and he said, yes, that's absolutely true. Så I don't know what to do. Han sagde, det er fuldstændig rigtigt. Jeg ved ikke, hvad jeg skal gøre. So the first African American pastor jumps up. Så den første af de her afroamerikanske øh, pastorer, han, han rejser sig op. There's over a hundred Catholic people in this restaurant. Der er mere end 100 katolik, katolikker på den her restaurant. And he says to all these Catholic people. Og så siger han til alle de her folk. Hey 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 this boy's daddy's sick. Så siger han, hey, den her den her drengs øh, far han er syg. Stretch your hands to him right now. <laughs> Jeg giver hænder ud til ham nu. And we're going to pray for this ham. boy's daddy. Og så beder vi for for den her drengs far. Now, these Catholics had they they had never done this before. Ja, de her katolikker, de har aldrig gjort sådan noget før. They did, they don't know what this is. De ved ikke hvad det her er. But they do it. Men de gør det. And so you know, and they're praying for this boy, and he's crying. Og de beder for den her dreng. Han 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 He gets a hug from the pastor. Han får en krammer af, af præsten. Some of the people clap. Der er nogen der klapper. And I'm thinking, <laughs> time for pasta. Og jeg tænker nu er det tid til pasta. And so you know, the 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 the, the black pastors are happy. Så de de her sorte uh, præster de er glade. About three minutes later. C- cirka tre minutter senere. This young man comes down, and he. He gets on his knees in front of us. Så kommer den her unge mand tilbage, så falder han på knæ lige foran os. And he says, I haven't been living for God for a long time. Og så siger han, jeg har ikke levet for Gud for meget, meget længe. But I really want him again. Men jeg vil gerne have ham igen. So the second black pastor jumps up. Så den anden af de her sorte pastor, han, han, han hopper op eller går and, and he said to all of these people in this restaurant. Og så siger han til alle folk i restauranten. Stretch your hands again. Og jeg kender noget mod ham igen. This boy is just given his life to God. Den her dreng, han har lige givet sit liv til Gud. And so people are looking stunned. Det er 
fuldstændig overrasket ud. They've her never seen anything like this. Aldrig set noget lignende. But other, you know, people are eating like get this show over with. Men for, det er jo på en restaurant og folk de spiser deres mad og tænker lad os nu komme over det her. But there are other people that are really curious. Men der er også en hel del som er ret nysgerrig. So this boy is crying. Så så drengene han græder. Two black pastors are are there ministering to to, him? To afroamerikanske præster, de står omkring og betjener ham. I'm looking at all this. Jeg kigger på alt det her. I say to the Holy Spirit. Jeg siger til Helligånden. All I wanted was pasta. Det eneste jeg bare gerne ville var pasta. And then the third black pastor jumps up. Så kommer så altså rejser den sidste af de her afroamerikanske præster sig op. And, and he says this. Og så siger han sådan her. Hey hey hey. Hey. Everybody listen to me. Hør lige her alle sammen. This young man just gave his life to God. Den her unge mand har lige givet sit liv til Gud. He just come back to the family. Han lige kom tilbage i familien. We need to treat him like he's family. Så vi er nødt til også at behandle ham som om han er familie. So someone give me a hat. We're taking up an offering for him. Så en eller anden stik mig en hat og så laver vi en indsamling til ham. In a Catholic Italian <laughs> restaurant. På katolsk italiensk restaurant. On the south side of Chicago. I den sydlige del af Chicago. <laughs> so now there's a hundred people in a line. Så nu er der 100 mennesker der står i kø. And they're taking money and they're putting it in the hat. De tager penge og putter det i en hat. And these are Italians. Og det er italiener. So they're taking this boy's cheek and they're going mwah, so de, mwah. <laughs> so they take him in the hand and they give him a I mean, he's getting kisses from from moms and dads and grandmas and han, grandpas. Han får møsser fra mødre og fædre og bedsteforældre. And you know the whole atmosphere has changed. Hele atmosfæren på restauranten har ligesom forandret sig. The owner comes running into this place. Ejeren kommer løbende ind. He's about ready to explode. Han er lige ved at eksplodere. He's shaking like this. Han ryster over det hele. He looks at me and he says this. Og så kigger han på mig og siger, I'm so happy. Jeg er så glad. <laughs> and I said, you're not going to throw us out? Jeg siger, smid, du vil ikke smide os ud? He said no. Så han sagde, nej, nej. This is like my family in Sicily. Det er fuldstændig ligesom min familie på Sicilien. He said this is wonderful. Så so, det er fantastisk. This is just like my home. Det er ligesom derhjemme. And I'm thinking, what a home. Jeg tænker, jeg sikkert hjemme. Altså. And then he said this. Så sagde han sådan her. You. Du. And all your friends. Dig og alle dine venner. Whoever you bring. Uanset hvem du tager med to my restaurant. Når I kommer på min restaurant. I give you 5% off. Så får I 5% rabat. <laughs> so you go with me to Chicago, you get 5% off. Så hvis I kommer med mig til Chicago, så får I 5% rabat. Can you say amen to that? <laughs> Jeg siger amen til det. Hallelujah. Wait, 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 wait. The story's not over. Vi starter af faktisk ikke over nu. The boy's father got healed. Hallelujah. Drengens far blev helbredt. Can you say amen to that? Så amen til det. I didn't pray for the boy. Jeg bad ikke for drengen. I'm thinking about my belly. <laughs> Jeg tænker mest på min mave. These other people prayed for the boy. De andre drenge, de bad for eller de andre øh, folk, de bad for drengen. But God is faithful. Men Gud er trofast. God is faithful. Gud er trofast. Can you say amen to that? Kan du sige amen til det?